if you're new here welcome to the channel and if you're not new here welcome back to a new video and uh on this video today i'm going to talk about something that is so hilarious so stupid and so lunatic and so idiotic that you will probably never believe right before your eyes do you know what that is i'll tell you what this old man right here who's a trump supporter uploaded a video about over maybe two hours ago because I just saw this in my recommended and I had to check this out. Titled Sunday, January 17th. We are winning and we will win again with three exclamation points. And you know what? This guy right here clearly he thinks that Trump is still gonna win. After it's been proven and debunked by fact checkers for the past like 20 weeks. Like it's been 20 weeks since since it's been debunked after Joe Biden win in November. Which is why the transition is still happening. And so I'm gonna start immediately by react by like giving my thoughts as to every single point as to what this guy is saying and debunk them because uh, this guy is practically not the smartest bunch in his shed, you know. So, without further ado, enjoy. Well, real quick, let's should go to our sponsor, a CZP 10C, with it. And force light. Love this gun. Golly, it's a great shooter. Uh, that might be fake news. They didn't sponsor me, but if CZ, you see this video and you want to sponsor me, just buy me bullets. I already got the gun. Let's go in prayer. Today is Sunday, 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 January 17th. The time is, is roughly 1920 hours Eastern time. And uh, if you would bow your head. Heavenly Father, we. And no, thank you. I just want to go over to uh, a few people I do but you don't know if they're hacked or not so right now my, my wife was like we, I gotta see you I, gotta, I said quit trying to figure it out just have faith that's that's all I, and she gets mad at me she goes have you heard anything I said we're winning well I know that but have you heard anything Trump's gonna win again. <laughs> uh, right. No, he won't. Trump lost. He admitted defeat. <sighs> this guy here is just an old such as who has a brain fart, a little, a little, a little brain fart in his brain because he can't think straight. <laughs> and she walks off. All right, we're she walks off because she doesn't give a crap. Excuse me. She doesn't give a fucking damn about Trump. We're not at the stage in the Bible. I, I want to make that very clear, but I'm going to make a point. Because some people think this God that we serve, or Jesus, uh, is this 
sissy god, and he's not no sissy. In fact, you don't want to cross him. In fact, he's a jealous god. He only can serve one god. But uh, again, where people don't put words in my mouth, I'm not saying we're at this stage. I'm just going to connect the dots on the things to come. Revelation 19:11. Yeah, nobody cares. Just go to the point. Death on him was called faithful and true, faithful and true, and in righteousness. Nobody cares. A name written that no one. God. And the armies in heaven clothed in the fine linen, white and clean, pure. Followed him on. Nobody cares. Self will rule with a rod of iron. And wrath of Almighty God. And he who has on his robe. King of kings. Lord of lords. Let's go back to verse 13. He was close. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Sir in the Super, Super Bowl after three days after it played. By the way, I have no idea who's who's in the Super Bowl or if it's played. I kind of boycotted NFL when they acted stupid. You boycotted NFL because you you were against standing up for what's right. Huh? I thought you weren't against standing up for what's right. I think the NFL acted stupid. You're standing up for what's right. Because a lot of their players took a knee. You're so dumb, you know that? But uh, I digress on that. Uh, but it's easy to predict the Super Bowl who won after three days after they played. So I'm going to read you some stuff, and it's not about me. I'm going to tell you that right now. But naysayers, I'm getting hate mail. I'm getting threats. I'm getting this. And you don't scare me. You fuel my fire, by the way. Uh, today I said there will be military tribunals. Obama, Hillary, and Biden will be arrested. There will be executions. For Trump. Trump will get executions. I said this prior to the federal law changing, that the federal uh, law would uh, would make it legal to uh, to execute people that's been indicted and tried and found guilty for federal uh, crimes, and that has occurred. They have. That will be Trump because he is going to be charged for all of those things, and he will be. The only president, former president, to do so. Just watch. I've now amended it to firing squads. Look it up. Now I'm gonna go. I wrote today, defeat is in the air. The crop will be served. Mm -hmm. I wrote today, defeat is in the air. The corrupt will be served with a swift justice like you've never seen before. There will be no mercy. There will be no deals. Trump will serve four more years. What is going to happen will be a God thing. It's going to be biblical. It's going to be biblical when Biden gets sworn in. Trump is not going to be served in four more years. The election has already been called many times. Sorry, not sorry.
accept it. He that lost. That was a post I did today. It's something I've already done. Another post, exciting times, biblical times, Trump won. Trust God, the other option is deception and death. You're a lunatic. Really, you are. I'm trying to find a article that I wrote at least three years ago. Oh, uh, this is gonna be so good. Bear with me just a minute. Give me one minute. Oh. I can't wait. Here we go. September 19, 2018. I wrote what's called a nugget. You follow me on Facebook. They uh, restricted me highly on Facebook, by the way. It is pronounced Facebook. Say it right with me. Facebook. Facebook. Say it right. Barack Hussein Obama, the traitor. Many of you did not think the 20-page Pfizer warrant would ever be disclassified. Trump, the traitor, excuse you. Donald John Trump, the traitor. See, I'm talking, I'm talking three years ago about declassification. You're fixing to see this. And this is why I took my old post and started posting some things. And all I did was copy and paste what I did three years ago. And uh, because I don't want to be that naysayer or say, hey, Super Bowl winner after three days after they played, they're so-and-so. You are a naysayer. You're still saying that Trump won when, in fact, he lost. And Trump has accepted defeat already. He gave up. Didn't you see what happened at the Capitol? He gave up. He lost. He already planned to leave the White House before Biden gets sworn in. He's not going to meet up with Biden. He's going to leave the White House. Stop being so delusional, man. Anyway, many of you did not think the 20-page Pfizer warrant would ever be declassified. Everything has its timing. Timing, okay? Everything has its timing. We need patience as a virtue. That's what I keep telling everybody. You need to thank Barack Hussein Obama, the most corrupt president in the history of the United States. His own... I don't get Trump supporters blaming Obama for everything that he... That he has done for his own country and for its people. I just don't get why Trump supporters have so much hatred in Barack Obama for doing nothing wrong while Trump has committed m many illegal things in the people's house just like recently he's been impeached twice now because of this wake up old man on executive order is backfiring on him and and it will and i will explain look up executive order 13526 13526 and I'll read a little bit about it. Signed by uh, BHO, that would be Barack Hussein Obama, on December 29th, 2009, that Executive Order 13526. President Trump has used some of this and will use this executive order against him. Classified National Security Information Section 1, uh, colon 7, it reads classification pro prohibition uh, and limitations A, in no case shall information be classified, continue to be maintained as classified, continued or failed to be classified in order to conceal the violation of law, inefficiency or administrative error, prevent embarrassment to a person, organization or agency, hello CIA, FBI, DOJ, State Department, 
restrain competition, prevent or delay the release of information that does not require protection in the national in the national security. So what does this mean? Hussein's own executive order violated by the law by wiretapping with no evidence on alleged accuser that would be President Trump and Americans, by the way. It will prove that he, he illegally... Except the shoe will be on the other foot since Trump is the one that committed all the crimes. There is no proof that Barack Obama committed all the crimes, so don't you fucking dare put this blame on him, you racist fuck. Legally wiretapped President Trump and Trump before he was president and also violated thousands of Americans' Fourth Amendment. As predicted, Hussein will not only be arrested, he will be tried under tribunal courts, but he will be stricken as POTUS. He will be taken away. He will never, like, never been a president before when this could. Yeah, Trump will be taken away. Like, he will never be president before in this life. embarrassing moments it's fixing to occur and uh, as if he's never been president of the United States uh, that's a big mouthful I understand Hussein you're feeling pain and the pain's coming and we are watching your sleepless nights enjoy the show it's going to be a barn burner now I'm telling you this uh, and I wrote this back in 2018 and you're fixing to see a barn burner and this is, again, it's not about me. I'm just setting a track record. I got new people on here that is phenomenal. I love you. Uh, my, my channel grew, and that's a God thing, not a heaven thing. But I want to make sure you understand that I'm not getting on this bandwagon and jumping on and telling you something. I've been saying this jumping up and down, and people thought I was crazy. No. I am not crazy, and I am not suicidal. And let me say this to you. You are crazy and you are suicidal. What the fuck? You are those things. Some people will get arrested. Some people will suicide themselves. You watch and see. Yeah, 25,000 be... people in uh, Washington, D.C., uh, National Guard. Uh, I do believe the Marines have been called in. And the Marines, is a, I wrote about how the Marines can be used by the president. Very important on that branch. And so uh, I don't have time to go through that. Uh, two years ago, I wrote... Uh, March 10th with the Russia, Russia, Russia. I was telling you China, and uh, they did not help Trump out in court. And of course, Lynn. The crimes of treason and sedition. Spygate is the worst in American politics. What you're fixing to see is is disgusting. It will make Watergate look like Tinkerbell. The reasons it has taken a long time is twofold. The corrupt Socialist Party of the Dems and Republicans has had to buy time still trying to overthrow President Trump by lying again that Trump colluded with Russia. You know? Because it happened. You just don't see that because because you're blindsided by Trump and his words. You don't have the evidence. Other people who work in the media do, and they told you about the Russia collusion, which exists. It's not fake. Look it up. You notice that the Republicans bought in on this Democrat uh, scheme. It was. A it's not a Democrat scheme. It's an American scheme scheme by the Democrats and Obama and Hillary with the Russia, 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 I was telling you, China. It's an American scheme that happened to be real, by the way. And uh, they 
did not help Trump out in court. And of course, Lindsey Graham is a traitor, just like no name John McCain. John McCain was tried in a military tribunal, period. End of story. He's a traitor. You're an American traitor who voted for someone who is completely mentally deranged and wanted to take over the world. What do you have to say about that? Huh? Traitor. He's a coward. If Trump, and if that offends you, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry because that's the way it is. I don't like traitors against our country. Trump's a traitor. Trump declassifies a warrant. The cult party, and they are a cult. They, they serve Satan. Uh, not only do they serve Satan, they they worship Satan. Um, plan. Oh, now you're just speaking gibberish. Parenthood is uh, aborting babies for and sacrificing children for for Satan. Uh, Stop saying Satan. Trump declassifies warrant the occult party would say that Trump was obstructing the investigation. The Dems already knew that Mueller investigation, which is worthless, they spent like 45, let's just call it $50 million for nothing. And the second reason has already been stated and many people would go down. You're fixing to see that. You're fixing to see many people go down. And he is not stupid. See, sometimes, well, not, not sometimes, when you have a choice of living or breathing and be a Trump guy, he, he faked it for a while, but his true colors has come out now when he thinks Biden is going to take the office in Wednesday. I don't think that's going to happen. It will. So I digress. It will happen. Just watch. Class, you're going to have an OIG report. You're going to have truth. You're starting to see the truth right now. You're starting to see some of the D-class and the truth. And then the last thing I said was justice. That is the rest. Mueller has already been a nothing burger. you, you got to understand I'm writing this back in uh, November 2019. Uh, Trump has authorized the D-class to AG Barr, but it has not gone public yet. Uh, we know now why. There will be indictments. I said that. I said in November. Uh, I was wrong about that, by the way. I was. Yeah, no shit. Biden president. Biden is present in Wednesday. He was elected on November 3rd. So, yeah, you were wrong. And you're going to be wrong about this, too, this coming Wednesday. I was not correct about November. Anyway, stay calm. We're winning. No, and you're not. Use discernment. And I pray in Jesus' holy name that you stay safe. Head Stop on using his name. Powder dry. Thank you. Trump will win and God's in control. He will not win. God bless you. What a moron. Listen, Trump will not win. Okay? He already lost. He broke the Constitution and he's getting punished for it. The only thing he can do is actually leave the White House. Biden will get sworn in as president as scheduled. Trump will never win because he already lost. And for you to say that is just a, a, like full of malarkey at this point. I mean, seriously, you should change the title to your video to We Are Losing and We Will Lose Again because this coming Wednesday, by the time this video goes up, probably before or around next Wednesday, you are going to be 
very stupid by the time people come over to this video and just like bomb because you are wrong and you're delusional you're kind of a lunatic maniac at this point for thinking that Oh, Obama deserves to, to get treason. No, Trump deserves to get treason. He's not even a politician. He planned the, all, all of this in the last four years. He wanted to rule our country. He wanted to kill the American people. He wanted to not save the American people from COVID-19. And the fact that you support him is just disgusting. It's extremely disgusting, E-Man. If that's your real name. Like, come on. Please. Now you got these fools believing in you. And seriously, why do you have to fucking use God? Why do you have to fucking use God? I mean, seriously, this is so annoying that people like this has to use God in politics as they are talking about president of their choice. I mean, seriously. I used to be that stupid person that voted for a stupid man in the White House. Who's still there until Wednesday, by the way. But thankfully, I, I made the right choice this time and voted for Joe Biden because he's the right fit for the job and he's not gonna stoop to anyone's level unlike Donald J. Trump. Yeah, just you watch. Like, just you watch. Biden will be sworn in. Trump will leave. That's it.